Welcome Scorpio to the channel. It's Robin here. So guys, I'm getting ready to do your your finance reading for September and I'm going to be using the Gilded Tarot deck to do this reading. So it's going to be a general read guys. I really hope it resonates with each and every one of you. However, it may not. You might need a personal reading as opposed to like the, the free general reading that's posted. So let me know in the comments what you think. Um, let me just change the camera angle so you can watch the reading come out guys. Just one sec. I'm going to go on a pause. Okay, guys, here we are. So I wasn't quite done shuffling, so I'll give it a couple more goes here. So I hope you all are doing great. Let me know how how you are. That's what the comments section is for. Let me know what you think of the reading. And uh, anyway, I hope you enjoy, no matter how much it resonates or doesn't. Like if you were guided here, there's something here for you. Okay, I'm going to do a deck cut, and I'm going to start off with the card here. Let's see what's going on. Hmm, a little bit worried about money, anybody? Got the Four of Pentacles, and this is, you can see, very concerned citizen here, clutching very tightly to their money. They might be just becoming aware that they have overspent, or there's just some big invoice looming in the distance something going on like you can definitely see worry about the future here and holding on for dear life to this money here hanging on to those pentacles hold on okay wow okay so looks like you don't have anything to worry about um we've got the nine of pentacles here so somehow you you leapfrog from four of pentacles to having nine of pentacles with everything is gonna be okay, you guys. So you could be worried for absolutely nothing here. So I'm not sure what happens in between Four of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles, but let's pull a clarifier on Four of Pentacles to see what's going on. It looks like you might be looking into the past a little bit if you had some hard times financially. You can see in the Five of Cups here that, you know, the focus is on the past instead of the future. So you could be borrowing energy from any past financial downfalls. Like I'm seeing some of you could possibly have had a car repossessed. Like if any of these really specific details are you, let me know in the comments. I, I love to hear um, when the things that I'm seeing, they reach the, the right people. Yeah, so, or if you're too embarrassed to talk about it, I get it, um, you know. I think particularly when people are young, they make a lot of uh, financial errors. Um, and some people, it takes them a little bit longer to understand money. And then that fear can kind of follow along um, into the future. So if you are looking at the past and the mistakes that you may or may not have made, um, or just didn't have enough money, you know, you were working some crappy job that didn't pay very well and you're living paycheck to paycheck but now you're doing okay um it's time to sort of release that fear thinking and stop looking at the past because it's over you know and if you had a hard time it was just to develop you that's all you know so let's keep on going here so we've got the six of swords which is saying that you really just you can move on now six of swords is really showing an indication of moving to calmer, a calmer place in your life, things are gonna be a whole lot better. You know, and if you're not doing very well right now financially, um, you can see that it is coming in. Let me just play with this angle a little bit. Okay. Um, you know, so things are changing for you. If you're still stuck in, in some not so fabulous job or you're paying off a debt, things are gonna be clearing up for you. You could already be in this place and still sort of hanging on to that fear-based thinking about money, or you could still literally be in the situation right now where you don't have a social life because you can't afford one or, you know, and, and that's okay, you guys. It's, it's going to ease up here. I can see it fading away. So then we have the sun card here. You know, guys, I just always think of the sun as growing things for you and being very, very powerful for you. And this is related to your finances. So your finances are growing as we speak right now. So 
seven of wands huh this is really interesting so as soon as i flip this card over i just get the impression that you might be helping somebody too much financially um and it's impacting you but you don't want to say anything you're going to reach a point where you would really like to just be responsible for yourself you know it could be somebody that you work with it could be somebody in your family sort of taking advantage of your kindness and i do see that some of you have been helping somebody out financially almost to your own detriment you know and then you're having a little bit of regret here about helping them but i mean you're really sort of in a tough situation because you know you're doing this out of the goodness of your heart but i don't think you're ever getting paid back and it's getting to the point where you just want to stand up and say okay you know what if i can get a job and take care of my bills like why can't you you know or something or get assistance if you need it i really just see that this is wearing thin on you <clears throat> I'm actually seeing that some of you are, you're paying a lot of money for, <clears throat> excuse me for a second, um, taking care of a companion animal. Actually, I'm seeing that energy here and I think some of you are getting a little annoyed at the caregiver because they keep on asking you to come back and back and back and you're having this feeling that it's not necessary. So if there is some sort of, whatever the stress point is here, like if it's not just a, a little whoops-a-daisy in your financial history, if it's actually a person or a vendor of some sort, I am seeing this particularly tied to companion animal, but it could be another situation. If it's starting to really, um, and I'm getting stronger words in my head than annoy you, but, um, you know i don't i don't want to say that <laughs> on um on the reading it, you need to stand up it's time for you to stand up because you feel you feel like you're getting taken advantage of by someone out there that they're either asking you to pay too much money for a service or you don't see like you don't see the value in a repeated service or it's somebody in your circle that um, expects you to pick up the tab all the time. You know what I'm saying? There, there's, there's something leeching against you and you've sort of cruised along with it because you're such a nice person. So I've got the High Priestess here, you guys. Um, I don't do reversals. Like the cards talk to me no matter how they come out of the deck and I turn them around so you guys can see them. So the High Priestess, she really wants to move above everything that is going on here and this should be you this should this is how you should be feeling right now you shouldn't have to be stressed out about money you shouldn't have to be stressed out about overpaying somebody feeling ripped off and you definitely shouldn't be in a place where you're staying quiet about it like i don't know um yeah i'm not one to be um uh, allow people to rip me off and I say something right away right away and you guys need to really bring that to the table in what I'm seeing here and that could be why you're a little bit worried about the money is because you know there's some repeated cycle of somebody taking advantage so the high priestess is like she's not worried about anything so this is the level that you will be approaching very soon like you're gonna go from four of pentacles where you're like wow you know i can't believe the size of that bill or will that person stop asking me for money or wow i can't believe i used to live in that horrible place and you know could barely afford to eat stop thinking about that you know and take care of your business here seven of wands and then you'll start to feel a whole different energy about that like you're gonna be cutting some dead weight off of your um your your checkbook i don't think anybody says checkbook anymore but that's the word i just got so there you go so you really i'm seeing here you're almost at the end of your tether 
with this situation and I, it's it's sort of what I'm seeing here is that you've been so nice for so long that you're really at this point where you might um, have a little bit of a uh, I want to say freak out or you could like explode a little bit so you definitely want to nip this in the bud before um, it gets to that point, you know, because those are just kind of embarrassing after the fact, you know, you don't want to have to go sit sit at home after and go, oh, I really wish I handled that a little bit better, you know, but if, if somebody, if you're getting the feeling that somebody is taking advantage of you, they probably are. I think you really need to trust your gut on that. And again, I'm just really seeing somebody like siphoning money from you here with the seven of wands and you've been kind of, I don't know why, going with the flow, you guys. Maybe you're afraid to speak up for yourself. Maybe you just don't wanna look like, I don't know, you don't wanna look cheap or you don't wanna look like you're, don't trust people. But this is like, when it comes to your money, your life, you have a right to defend it, you know? And you don't have to take anybody's garbage you're not obligated to help anybody out financially, really, unless they're your immediate family, you know, your kids or whatever. Um, I find this a very interesting spread for you right now. <clears throat> I think many of you are kind of on the fence as to what to do and, and how to handle a situation. I'm going to pull at least one more card here for you. Yeah, this is something that can clear up and go away. And I do see this as somebody that matters to you. Um, I keep on getting veterinarian, you know, I don't know about where you live, but, um, like where I live and I, you know, I've had pets forever and ever. I've had a couple of experiences myself and other people in this city where they feel like the, the vet was sort of preying upon their emotions to keep the keep you bringing in your your beloved animal for treatment over and over and over again that weren't really necessary but they were being plied emotionally like it felt like emotional blackmail and there's some really good vets in the city i'm not saying they're all like that but i'm i'm really seeing this in the cards here that it's really it's something close to your heart or someone close to your heart. And the only way it's gonna stop is if you like throw down here and you can do that in the nicest possible way. You can get a second opinion. If somebody is coming back to you repeatedly to ask for money, you can say, you know what? I can't really afford it right now. I'm saving for blah, blah, blah. Can you see if so-and-so can help you or can, you know, whatever agency can help you or you know, this is going to be the last time because I think it's gone on too long and I think you're perfectly capable of paying your own bills or buying your own food or, you know, let me check into a food bank for you or something, you know. Um, you can absolutely divert leeches off to different, <laughs> different people, <laughs> you know. Um, you're not responsible to do this and I feel like you, you've got this thread inside you that feels responsible but you're not and you know you don't have to be like bled by other people you're you're being too nice here Scorpio you know so before your back gets up against the wall and you pull the pin like really really look at how you feel about this and then do something about it and then you'll start to have a bit of a different feeling okay so and, and that is making money. You know what? When you cut things off like that, that's putting money back into your budget. So it's very important to do this. So guys, I hope this was an interesting reading. And remember to comment down below and like, share, and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I will see you back here next time. Take care.